Welcome to EC Motor Reviews Channel. Moto Guzzi V100 Mandelo, 2023 on, review. But it's anything but a misty-eyed, two-wheeled reminisce. It's thoroughly modern with a tasteful color dash and lean-sensitive rider aids. Go for the 15,750-pound S model and you get extra goodies like semi-active Olean's Smart EC 2.0 semi-active suspension and an up-slash-down quickshifter, too. In terms of elegance and detailing the Guzzi puts its sports touring rivals in the shade, but what is the competition? The Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX, Suzuki GSX S1000 GT, and BMW R1250 RS are obvious rivals, but in the flesh, it looks like a lowrider Yamaha Tracer 9, or Honda Northern Territory 1100. The Moto Guzzi's upright riding position even has shades of Aprilia to Ono V4 about it, which is no surprise as they're both developed by Piaggio at their Noali factory near Venice. Technically the Mandelo is a different beast to any previous Guzzi. Not only is it fitted with electronics that wouldn't look out of place on a superbike and a new engine, it's also the first production bike to have adaptive aerodynamics, although their effect is minimal. Flappy wings aside, Moto Guzzi has created a tasteful sports tourer that's neither bland, nor shouty and offers the perfect mix of comfort, sportiness, tech and character. It's pricey but the V100 Mandelo is well made with great attention to detail and feels like a machine that's come from the heart rather than just a model produced to fill a gap in a model range. It's like nothing else around, which is all part of its appeal and you never get the sense, either by riding or looking at it, that any corners were cut during its journey from design sketch to showroom floor. Although the Mandelo might look chunky in pictures with its bold styling, larger-than-life powertrain and chunky exhausts, it sits surprising low. Shorter riders will feel immediately confident being able to get feet flat on the floor and if the standard 815mm seat height is still too lofty, there's a low accessory seat available. The riding position itself is nigh-on perfect. Pegs are sporty without cramping knees, even for six-footers like me. A higher accessory seat is available for even more legroom, and its tall bars are placed naturally towards the rider so there's no awkward stretch or excess pressure on your wrists. The seat is comfy and scalloped at the rear to hold you in under acceleration. The screen offers decent wind protection and with its injection system inside the V of the engine, now that the cylinder heads have been turned round 90 degrees, there's lots more knee room. Ride quality on this semi-active Olane's clad S model is as plush or sporty as you want it to be, depending on the riding mode you choose and there's a handy remote rear preload adjuster to twiddle for carrying heavy loads. With its shorter engine the Mandelo is sportier and more agile than previous Guzzies and thanks to its long swing arm and low pivot point there's little up slash down shaft drive pitching on and off the throttle. Yes, you can feel the back end rise and fall when you ride aggressively but like the engines rocking it's a slight movement and a sensation that quickly melts into the background. But what feeling you lose with a chain you gain with the clean, maintenance-free convenience of that shaft, which is especially useful on a big tour. Through corners the guzzy is natural steering and composed. Damp roads stop us from pushing on, but the Mandelo is always reassuring thanks to the grip of Pirelli's superb Angel GT Sports Touring Rubber, now with a fatter 19055X17 rear, and the knowledge the lean-sensitive traction control and ABS will quickly step in, just in case. Its brakes deserve a special mention, too. Brembo M432 calipers are incredibly powerful and tactile, something sadly missing from most ABS setups nowadays.